We didn't know much about them until 1987. Started working for Honeywell Space Systems. One of the assignments I had was what tools could you use that would help people with RCMGs? Because everybody was going to use Honeywell CMGs. And during that time, came across a solution to a problem that had been around for 25 years. The, that mathematical breakthrough allowed much better control, collecting data. And that's a technique that's used by, you know, Korea and Germany and so forth to collect their data from Earth observation satellites. And that's what got me started on CMGs. And then there is, you know, this opportunity to use them on a vehicle that needed the ability to balance really on a knife edge. You have these wheels and there's an unstable equilibrium point that you want to stay on. And the CMGs were just the perfect thing to provide the torque to keep the vehicle stable. You had all these different aspects of how fast can you go around a corner? You know, what happens if you lose traction? Can you recover? And all those problems are very interesting. Over here is the program I wrote for doing the lit simulations. These are integration routines that do different kinds of integration. It allows us to run our electronics at any rate we want to with any amount of computation time. We have a timer that tells it when it's going to read the data, what the delay for the data is, when it's going to start the computation, and then when it puts out the commands to the actuators. Mm -hmm. And the actuators are purely differential equations, they're not digital. So you solve that part. Then you have the suspension differential equations, which are nonlinear. You've got the nonlinear properties of the tires, you've got the nonlinearities of the CMGs, they're all in there. Making something this complex balance, being able to go and do a jump and slide and recover, you'd never do that on a motorcycle. If you slide that front wheel coming off a jump, you're down. This does stuff that no other vehicle can do. That's what's interesting about it. Most engineers can't follow what I do. There's a lot of books on control theory up there, and you really have to understand that kind of stuff in order to, to do these kind of things. I was at a Mark 50 meeting. One of the guys asked, well, did you use you know AI in order to get this thing to work? And I said, no, just straightforward uh, control theory. And one of the guys said, there is no straightforward in control theory. <laughs>